back with you to solve some equations with fractions in them. Okay, so there's a bit of a trick to this. Um, we look at the denominators and we think, how are we going to get rid of all the fractions here? Because it's much easier when we're not dealing with fractions. Because right. I love fractions, but I know many of my students do not love fractions. So we're going to teach them how to get rid of those fractions. Once, they, once we got rid of the fractions, it's super easy. All right. So what could I, what could I do? What one step could I do to make all of these not fractions anymore? Well, I recognize my common denominator would be 15. So I'm going to multiply by what it would be. I'm going to okay. multiply both sides of this equation by 15. So we're going to do... Let's just... Hang on. Let's get... Rid of that. Uh, sorry, I've got to put up with my... My drawing here. Let's get this one. So what we're going to do is 15 lots of x over 5 add x over 3 equals, and times this side by 15 as well, equals 15. Correct. All right. So let's simplify this. 15. So we have to distribute it in, right? 15 times x over 5. What if I times this by 5? I'm going to get x on its own. If I times by 5 and then times by 3, that's the same thing as times by 15, right? Yep. So this is going to be a 3x. So I've times by 5 to get rid of the fraction, and then I've still got a times by 3. And here, All right. times by 3 mm -hmm. to get x on its own, and then times by 5. Okay, nothing's happened on this side. It's still 15. All right. And so we get 8x now, collecting like terms, equals 15. Divide both sides by 8, and we get 15 over 8. Okay. And I'm quite happy with top-heavy fractions like that one. How about yep. you? I'm okay with that, too, as long as for you, sure. As long as you can't simplify it anymore. Yep. All right. Let's, Let's try the middle one Try another one? Yep. Okay. okay. So now we have a fraction plus a 2 and another fraction plus a 4. Maybe we should put them all together and make them all fractions at first. Well, Ooh, oh, oh, I like your idea. I, oh, I, I like, like what you're doing. The idea of just getting it a little simpler before we start. So I'm just taking away two from both sides. So that uh -huh. two's gone, and I've got two less Subtract here. Subtract the two from both sides. I like that. So your idea is to make to make this a fraction. Yeah, or? no, that's going to be too much work. Let's do something simpler. Let's. Uh, okay. What were, you, what were you going to think about doing? I was thinking, so let's write this out again for another stage. Okay, I'm thinking, why don't we look at the denominators and time, if we times everything by 12, because that's the lowest common multiple of 4 and 3, we're going to get um, whole numbers, right? All right, let's do that. So times 12 and this one. Times 12. 12 times yeah. that one. Okay, so what do we get? We're going to get... Well, that's 12d over 4, which is then 3d. 3d. Because times it by 12 is like times by 4, and then another 3. Right. Okay. And here? Distribute the 12 in backwards kind of thing. It's going to be 4 times 3d plus 2. Okay, so we're going to have 4 lots of 3d add 2. And then we're also going to get 12 lots of 2. Which is 24. 24. Okay. So let's just expand this bit out. 12d add... Ooh. 8. Plus 24. 3d. Need a bit more room here. All right. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So I like to... next? Right. I like to put 3d equals 12d... And let's add the 824. Okay. So I get 32. Okay. Bringing the d's together, I'm going to subtract the 12d. Uh, okay. So yeah. if we subtract 12d, we're going to end up with minus 9d. 9d equals 32. Divide. And then, doesn't turn out so nicely, this one. 32 over 9, and it's negative. Right. It's divided by negative 9, or this whole fraction is negative. Great. Can we simplify that one? Uh, nope. Are you I happy can... with it just like that? I'm very happy with it like that. Yeah. Most uh -huh. math teachers are. The, the idea of like uh, mixed numbers, that's a middle school idea that is good to understand what the fractions are about, but 
Imagine. But this is an exact answer, so it's nicer than decimals as well, because there's no rounding there. It's a, exactly. It's a, it's a good maths answer, that one. That's right. All right. Last one. Let's give her a go. Here we are. Okay. So what are we going to do this time? And that one, if we use the same technique we've done in the past, the common denominator would be 14. Okay. So we're going to multiply both sides by that 14. Do the two times fourteen. 14 is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. okay. So now we're distributing that fourteen in. So again, times in this by fourteen times by seven knocks out the fraction, right. and then we have to times it by two. So right. we've got two lots of w minus one. Take away seven lots of four w minus one equals twenty-eight. Right. Okay, so far. So far, so good. Distribute the 2 now. Ooh. So 2w minus 2. Now here we're going to do minus 7 times 4w. Right, it was minus 28w. And negative 7 times negative 1. It's a positive 7. That positive sign is a very common mistake. You have to make sure you distribute the negative 7. All okay, right. Okay, what are we going to do here? We're going to keep the... I'd like to tidy up the left-hand side all together. So okay. I would get negative 26w, by collecting like terms, yep. plus 5 is 28. Okay. And now I'll subtract 20, or 5 from both sides. So 26u equals 23, okay. divide by the negative 26. So we're doing a positive divided by negative, so it's going to be a negative answer. And it's 23 divided by 26, and we can leave it just like that. Nice. 